Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Absolutely. Uh, Sal's in the best spot ever for today's topic. We're talking X-Men reboot, which is going to be going on right now. Uh, but today's episode is brought to you by me. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by This Hot Sauce Is. This is a hot sauce that me and my buddies have put together. It is a mild hot sauce with uh, green hatch chilies, and it's got a hint of whiskey. The alcohol content has been cooked off, but it's a great spreadable hot sauce, very mild at the moment. When this one sells out, we'll be coming back with this brand because we're getting nothing but good reviews, and a secondary brand, which is now going to be our spicy version of this. But yes, if you want to help us out, please, we would really appreciate it because this is supposed to be a part of a big YouTube push for storefronts, and YouTube bombed that and the storefronts are terrible, and now i got to find a way to sell all this hot sauce. Luckily, <laughs> the local stores are picking it up, and the farmer's markets are selling really well, but we'd appreciate some of your support as well. Nice. Yeah, fortunately, that <laughs> we got the local stores to start buying it because they loved it. So. <laughs> uh, okay, so X-Men is rebooting again. Yeah, yeah, the comics are rebooting. The cartoon is getting a reboot. The movies are rebooting. X-Men's getting a complete line-wide across the way reboot. Yeah. They're lining uh, up with X-Men 97 TV To show. the 90s. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I understand why, uh, because the number one selling big two comic book of all time is X-Men number one, drawn by Jim Lee. And it is still people's most beloved iteration of the x-men regardless of the outliers who talk about their favorite versions from the 70s the 90s the Krakoan age as far as marvel's concerned you know the bankable income is x-men 97 slash x-men from the 90s i don't know and i, I want to ask you this uh disney plus launches and with it a slew of their content that it had from backlogs which included X-Men from the 90s and, you know, Spider-Man 94, stuff like that. What kind of numbers did that cartoon show X-Men do that warrants this level of commitment? Because Captain Marvel I... 2 got a redesign of Beast to be from the cartoon the X-Men action figures that are coming out now are all X-Men 97 themed. They're remaking arcade one-up cabinets with X-Men 97 sides. X-Men 97 is the, the all-in let's go era right. for X-Men across the board from Marvel and Marvel Studios. What kind of numbers that cartoon show did? I don't think it did well. But I think it's the There's legacy. There's no way it didn't it. because it greenlit a new show set in that universe. Because no, those actors. Legacy. I think that's the thing. I think it's just it's never gone away. Like, like Batman the animated made... series never went away. Right, but they never made another one. I mean, they did some like tie-ins and stuff. They did the Justice League cartoon, but again, that was a new thing with that Batman in it. All the Justice League movies are all new stuff or weird homages to that new stuff with the old guy in it you know what i mean like some number i mean you aren't wrong but i think it's more about the legacy because it's like no matter what the x-men have done the yeah. only thing that ever even got close to getting out there was cyclops was right and most people don't even know <laughs> what that means no <laughs> like it 97 that show people know they know the cast they know the characters they know everything about that without even trying yeah so i think it's just the legacy it's just never gone away right i i i think it's a combination of that but i mean like to see a studio so unilaterally double down on one particular version of those characters well i guess that because that's the only recognizable version what are they gonna what are they gonna do oh the era where professor x died just, just or, do whatever or, do whatever they want do a new thing do the do the i mean like well i think the, i think is, the new thing is going to be the mcu and i think the new and i think the mcu is going to look exactly like x-men 97 i don't think it is i think i think the mcu is going to be the new crack at it but I think what this is, Disney going, okay, look, we know what you want, so here it is. Right. Here's X-Men 97. We're right, gonna how do they know we want it? Because, <laughs> because we, we haven't because... shut up about it since it came out. <laughs> no, trust me, there has been a lull. There are people who are just as vociferous about X-Men evolution than they are about X-Men from the 90s. I mean, like, X-Men evolution I'm, was I a just, good show. I, think... I like it. Norm, I'm mean, listen. I like all the X Men iterations. I'm just saying, like, I feel like this is a reaction from a company that's like, we can't ignore these numbers. We got to get in on this. We got to get it all. We got to get that like, specifically. No numbers is so old. Well, no, they well they lot no because we we don't know what the Disney Plus numbers are. But I mean, like, how could it be that good? 
Like, how could the numbers be that good? And yet no one's talking about gargoyles. There's no Spider-Man 95 oh, cartoon. I miss. Okay, I got I got numbers. I got numbers. Ham Saban credits the success of the series to assisting him to sell his next project, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh, yeah. X -Men from the 90s. Well, X-Men X -Men in the now. 90s reached 23 million households. I mean, that's those are good numbers. But I'm, it's got to be those standards. numbers. It's not going to be current numbers. No, I'm I'm saying the 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 amount of hours watched on Disney Plus when the app launched. Like we're never going to see those numbers because they keep that crap to themselves. But you have to assume. That's why I don't, they, I don't think those are the numbers that they'd be looking at. I think I think they're looking at this. Okay, it was huge in the '90s. Can we bring right. it back? That's that was 40 years ago. You know, like 40. 30. Come on. 30. Don't make, I'm don't sorry. Don't make us older. Don't make us 30 older. 30 and change. But I'm just saying, like, it was, it's a, it was, it might as well be 50 years ago, is my point. Like, as much as it is a cultural touchstone for your dad, and as much as it is a, uh, a groundbreaking superhero adaptation animated series for its time, right? You know, is, does it warrant a massive rollout in 2024? And I'm not saying, that it shouldn't. And I think that the animation we've seen so far for the show, because the show hasn't launched, it will by probably by the time this episode comes out. Doesn't look good. It does. It doesn't look the same. And I'm not a fan look... of what they chose to do with it, but yeah, it looks good. I just it looks don't like good. You know, it looks good by today's standards. It looks as good yeah. as Invincible, you know, but it's, it, it's not like high quality animation. It just looks like a thing they made from where like they took the style from the nineties and then CG would it. I mean, that's yeah, that's good. exactly right. <laughs> You know, and it doesn't look like what if it looks like its own thing, which, you know, again, good for you, but I don't know. It just seems like it's, it seems like a lot of faith is invested in this show based on some kind of secret formula that they concocted. I would be disappointed if it was just the, 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 you know, the, the nostalgia of just being like, I remember how good that show was. Let's make literally everything we do about it. You know what I mean? I mean well, look at it this way. I mean, who buys the most of the toys and stuff like that? 30 Adults. or 40 year olds who are, yeah. like it's proven that there's an adult market for toys. Why not cater to that? You know, right, who... but is it like it, it, the, the show better perform, you know, it's very similar to, uh, to Sony. Let me approach. ask you this show tanks, terrible worst show you've ever seen, but over they make a Wolverine that looks straight out of the original nineties animated series. I mean, it is, it's played are, by are, the same guy. It will be. Are you going to buy it though? Regardless of what the X Men ninety seven does on Disney, I've had options to do that. I mean, those figures are on on the shelves right now. I I didn't because I don't I don't really buy a lot of action figures nowadays. But like, I I progress beyond that. I get expensive statues now. Right, but you know, I'm I'm in the middle where I'm like I could, but I don't. Like where I look at an action figure, I go twenty four dollars. Are you nuts? <laughs> and then I just don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Tick, Groot, and a Yellow Lantern. What are you talking that, about? That Tick, the, the Tick was, that Groot was from a Walmart for like 10 bucks. Uh, the, actually, everything on my shelf. I don't want to go over price points if we're going to look at the stuff behind us. No, no, no. <laughs> everything behind me was either free, <laughs> like literally free, or from a discount store. <laughs> I I got those, cu those, those cups there. They're like $20 a pop. I mean, that's the price point. Eh? Ignore yeah. everything else in this room. <laughs> no, but like, yeah, I, you can see, like, I don't really invest in uh, the decor or in the pop culture machine the way that uh, some people would assume I would as, as, a as a person who talks about this crap on the internet for a living. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, like, as far as the reboot goes, it's it's barely a reboot. It's more like a continuation slash doubling down of one yeah. version. But I'm like, what a, but, what a golden opportunity for them to do a million different things. I mean, like, we did get Marvel Legends figures of the Krakoa era, and we've got, like, you know, different characters who definitely didn't appear on the show as toys and figures and statues and stuff. But as far as, like, Marvel slash Disney is concerned, everything's X, X, everything's X Men 97. Well, yeah, but the comic lines of the reboot we're here to talk about, and I think that's lining up with that as well, though. It's going to be back to the roots. We're going to be back at the school. We're going to be, or the man. No, I don't or... think we're going to the school. I think they're deliberate. Well, I mean, I think we're going to go back to the school eventually, but like they they did a little preview where they showed like they're, no, they took the, the, the sign off the school. I... Someone else bought it. Oh, all I saw, I saw the announcement that, that Gail Simone and them were taking over. I didn't see anything else. Yeah, yeah. There's a little uh, video teaser they released that, uh, oh, that shows you some that. art and Go stuff. On. It's cool. There's a lot of like neat stuff, but all the logos for every book that it's rolling out from the new comic book X-Men are the 90s logos. 
Well, that's what I'll say. I feel like we're getting lined back up with that, and I feel like the MCU is going to be the variation on that, but I can almost guarantee we're going to get to a school pretty early on. Yeah, like, no, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, like, there's, you know, it, it makes the most sense to me as far as, like, getting lapsed fans. Uh, Chad is telling me that the mansion is being turned into a private prison for someone. That would make sense because Deadpool and Wolverine went to the manor. It is not in good condition. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's No, I remember. It's currently overrun by the Danger Room robot, right? Like, she's got yeah. a sentient mind now. I don't even know when that happened. Oh, yeah, it happened. Like, it must have been over a year ago. It happened in, like, Way of X or something. Or yeah, she, she basically became sentient and then and then was upset they all abandoned her. Yeah. And I'm like, I get that she's the villain. That's sad. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the Krakoa era where it's like, yeah. hey, a character I haven't seen in, like, 25 years. Oh, they're sad? <laughs> no. it's like they brought tom king in i like those like, like that I, I loved that team up deadpool and yeah. wolverine going to the manor it's in disarray and then yeah. the, the robot is just like you all Why did you leave me here you all left me here like yeah <laughs> that's, that's kind of fun that's a cool idea yeah but yeah it's it's i'm, I'm excited for it all it's just more like i i i You're just assume... worried that we're just going to be all in, like the cartoon the comics the toys and then the mcu synergy 97 yeah i mean the fact that Stegman's drawing one of them says, like, I want a look that says, you know, like classic Marvel nineties, you know. Yeah. But uh, I, I, it's I'm more glad like that Stegman's getting on something again. Oh, I me really too. I love Stegman. Stegman's Venom. Yeah, he's great. But uh, but I'm just like, I, it's funny. My whole approach to this, to this thing was just like, I think that like someone at Disney, you know, they were looking at their numbers and they're like, well, we did our rollout, we spent a trillion dollars in the streaming service, and you know. What are people watching? Well, somebody watched two and a half minutes of the Shaggy Dog. Uh, <laughs> Herbie, most, Herbie goes to Monte there Carlo. Go. Got two the, seconds. From the Ashes New Beginning thing. Yeah, where it shows each yeah. team. Yeah, exactly. All the teams. And and then there's like after All they right. released the I was telling book. you I didn't think the comics were going to line up with 90s, but you didn't tell me Gail Simone's team choice. <laughs> have you, yeah. have you, do you know who it is? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen it before. Nightcrawler, Jubilee, which by the way, She's doing straight up. Check out my thighs. Nineties Jubilee again. And mm -hmm. I'm here for it. <laughs> right. I'm, come on. Come on. Yeah. Am I really Ju uh, rogue is in her classic nineties outfit and mm -hmm. very well endowed again. Gambit's here for the ride. It looks like. And then Wolverine. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like, yeah. And then we got Jed McKay's X-Men. And that looks like it's going to be a lot of the newer guys that have done well, yeah. such as magic juggernaut as a, as an X-Men right. Cyclops is on that team. Beast is going to be good again, so I don't know how that's going to freaky resolve. Like, <laughs> uh, I, I think they're going to kill Bad Beast. I, I get a feeling there's a reason Wolverine and the Beast aren't on the same team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then our third team looks like the most obscure ones, where yep. it's pretty much Emma Frost leading a whole new crew. Like, yeah, I think it's Quentin Choir. I, I assume that's Monet and uh, Kitty Pride. Terrible. Oh, here's the official trailer. That'd be better. Oh no, that's Quentin on the middle team. Yeah, Quinn's in the middle one. Yeah, right above yeah, yeah, Juggernaut. Yeah. Is yeah. that Magneto? The, the he's deliberately sh uh, like covered yeah. in. Uh, I don't. In, in I shadow. don't. I have a feeling that's Polaris. If you've been reading current, oh, she's doing yeah. a lot of Magneto shit. She's very Magneto. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's literally she's literally using the helmet to protect herself and do Magneto shit. Yeah, it's. Cool. I was like, because he's dead and they're shrouding him. Right. So I think she's just going to accept the Magneto role. I think is what's mm. going on. I don't know. I mean, you got to read that uh, that that Magneto resurrection book. It's uh, it's pretty tight. Do you think that might actually be him? Yeah. Well, I I don't know. I don't I don't I think this this much like smoke and mirrors when it comes to like ooh who is wearing the helmet uh, is deliberately meant to be like you'll never expect it. Like it's probably onslaught or something. It's Professor X, but he's got the onslaught personality and he's running the X Men. I don't know. Is that is that Psylocke not in her like stolen body? In her actual body at the bottom? I think so, yeah. Because that looks like a Psylocke sword, but she doesn't look like the Asian Psylocke with no, the she black look like Quanon. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably Betsy. Yeah. I don't know who the one in the upper left-hand corner is. I won't even try to guess that one. Uh, No, I have no uh, idea. Uh, but for the record, just so you know, Editor uh, Platt, I need you to put this on the screen because we're literally just... <laughs> <laughs> do, not, do not just let people try to find this image. I'll put it up for them to watch. Look at too. Yeah. I'll do that. Um. Because we're trying to guess who the team members are. Here, let mm -hmm. me see. Can I do this? Open image, a new tab. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Nice and big. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can identify the entire left team. That's easy. I did. I can't get over how hard that Jubilee outfit goes. 
Like yeah. that redesign, they're like straight out of Jubilee from the 90s. She's not a vampire anymore. And yep. we took away half her clothing. <laughs> <laughs> like she's Why like not? the ab window and the thighs. And they're like, but Rogue, she's in the full outfit. <laughs> yeah. But short sleeves. But just, I'm just saying it goes so hard. It's just like, come it on, does. come over here. 90s. Yeah. Yeah. That's Stegman for you. Uh, no, Stegman's on the middle. Yeah, but he's drawing the whole thing. Oh, he drew this this whole yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, this one's got magic, beast, juggernaut. I, I kind of like juggernaut being a good guy. His whole yeah. plot just like he should have been a good guy earlier, you know. Yeah. Uh I still I think that's Psylocke. I don't know who this is. Mm-hmm. Who's this up here? I don't Do know. Do you know that one? Mm-mm. And I this is Kitty and, and Emma. Yep. Because yep. Kitty's got Hopefully. her new I'm an assassin outfit, but she just doesn't have the hood up. Uh-huh. I don't know who these three are, though. I have no idea who these three are. Oh, one of them looks familiar. I don't know who he is, though. Chad will probably fill us in. Yeah. Uh, I guess I guess this one, according to Chad, is a new character. Oh, okay. That looks yeah, like a cross sense. between Iceman and... Who's the fire-themed one on the X-Men? Sunfire? Maybe. Because she's riding, like, the, the Iceman bridge thing, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I don't know who this is. Pyro. Yeah, Pyro. Could be Pyro's powers. Somehow she's merged. Oh. But yeah, these three I don't know. Yeah. Where's Dark Beast or Grey Beast? Well, that's what we just said. He's going to be gone somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's Beast. I don't know which Beast it is. It could be Evil Beast, but he's classic looking, so it could be the classic Beast they brought back. I don't know. I, I They're going to just like wipe his memories or something, and then him and Wolverine are just going to have an argument for a year, and that's going to go away. <laughs> That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like comic books to you. Uh, these yeah. two are new characters, apparently. Okay. So this, well, is, so, Emmett, so this is the new team, the exceptional X-Men. Yeah. So. Nice. All right. I'm cool. excited for a new beginning. I could, Look, you, got, you convinced me to be excited for the X-Men. You did. I did. I got into the Crack Cohen thing, and the longer I'm in the Crack Cohen thing, the more it makes no goddamn sense to me because it's so all over the fucking place. And I've complained about this many times. Mm-hmm. It, like, I just, I look, I like having a lot of comics in one, but I also like to understand how they link together. And the X-Men just drive me up the wall, mm-hmm. how they're connected, but not, but are, and you got to just kind of read them all to really get it. Yeah, like, that's right. <laughs> I mean, that, I think that's my biggest problem. Like, I can skip some Batman books and I don't feel like I'm missing out on a Batman story. Uh-huh. But if I... Every time I skip an X-Men, X-Men book, one of the ancillary ones, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's X-Men for you. Yeah. So I'm excited that we're going to narrow this back down to three core titles that I can mm-hmm. follow along with, which each have people that I'm interested in. Also, this means that uh, whatever Sabretooth did to Quentin is going to go away because he's got his body back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I almost assumed that, though, because Sabretooth is killing way too many people for the most right? day. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be like some bad dream or something for Wolverine because there's way too many dead people at the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too many dead, important, marketable characters are dead. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's got, he's got a suit on. Maybe that is just classic Magneto. Right? I don't know. They're deliberately not showing you. Yeah, he's, he's, he, he's in other teasers too, and you can't see his face. Uh, that's what I mean. Everyone is here. That's why I said I'm wondering if it's Polaris. Polaris, mm-hmm. Polaris, however you want to say her name. She's running around in the helmet right now. Yeah, but it's a green helmet. It's her outfit. Yeah, but then she just accepts that she's Magneto. Uh-huh. No, I'm pretty sure. No, I'm pretty sure it was the official. Let me find it. What was the latest issue? Could have sworn it was the Magneto purple helmet mm. that she stole in the latest issue. Okay. Also, is that Magneto character leading all three X Men? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Like he's over them all. Yeah. That could be. I hate the new Comixology Kindle merger because I can't find shit. Yeah, it's real it's real bad. It is terrible. And now I'm gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to narrow it down to X-Men. That didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, f you, Kindle. F off. All right, guys, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. All right. Well, everyone, let us know in the comments down below what you think is going on with the new X-Men. Uh, I'm excited. A new jumping on point. Kind of clean up a lot of how confusing this has gotten. But it looks like a lot of ramifications. Because everyone likes to say, like, oh, my God, nothing sticks. No. I mean, yeah. literally, Kitty's still in the assassin outfit. Mm-hmm. Magneto's being hidden for a reason. Juggernaut's still on the team. 
Wolverine is back with the team. Like the Krakoa stuff's gonna stay. It's we're not yeah. kicking it to the curb and just forgetting it exists. No. Only idiots are like, it doesn't stay. Look at the lineup, morons. <laughs> yeah. So, but I betty that is Sal. Check out our hot sauce. This hot sauce is if you want to support us on a larger scale. We'll see you next time right here at Absolutely.